Continuing coverage in day one of testimony in the long awaited trial of a teen accused of killing Siobhan Scruggs in 2021. Well, today we learned more information about what prosecutors say led up to that shooting. Our Dacian Smith on this story today. Dacian, according to the witnesses, this was all over a gun. That's right. The prosecution called well over a dozen witnesses, some of whom testified that Javan brought a gun from home and it was shown on social media. They say the defendant saw it and wanted it, and that's what led up to the shooting. Now, surveillance videos shows Chavan leaving home on September 6, 2021. His mother, Nigel Hill, testified that Chavan was going to a friend's house. One of Chavan's friends testified that Chavan had a gun with him that day, a gun that Detective Julius Nettles identified as an FNN pistol that shoots rifle rounds. The witness testified that he and another friend were firing the gun in the backyard and that someone in the group took video and posted it on social media. That's when he said the defendant came over and asked about the gun, but was told there wasn't one and left. The friend testified that he left Javan and another friend as they were walking back to Javan's house around 8 o'clock that night. The prosecution says when Chavan and the other friend got near Figures Park, they were followed by the defendant and another one of his friends who said that it was when that that's when the defendant shot Chavan in the back and took off. Now, the murder weapon was later recovered by MPD. The defense asked Detective Julius Nettles if there was any physical forensic evidence tying that gun to his client, to which Detective Nettles said no. The prosecution did rest their case, and the defense will pick up in the morning. Live from Government Plaza, Dacian Smith, Fox 10 News.